Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 3rd of October 2024. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life. You may hear the sounds of distant thunder. It's, we just had a, a, a rainstorm here. Uh, thunder is still uh, creating booms across the sky. Uh, and uh, you might hear that in the background. Uh, I was pretty lucky today. It was the, I, the, when I made my first video in the morning, it was sounding like it was about to rain. It did rain in the morning, stopped by the time I had to go and take the cat to the hospital and get my driving license. And when I got back, well, it's raining again. So that's I've avoided the rain very nicely. What's going on in the world? Uh, Jack Smith has uh, put in put in a new filing on the uh, charges that the Supreme Court tried to get rid of and do a do a favor for their pal Donald Trump. Um, but uh, of course, uh, he is apparently not immune from personal actions. Uh, so I, I love the way Jack Smith starts his um, uh, his uh, filing, and I'd like to read it to you because I think if you're American, I'd like to encourage you to read it because it's very simply written. You know, I love his style; it's very clear and to the point. It's not full of legalese and difficult to follow or anything. So it begins, the defendant asserts that he is immune from prosecution for his criminal scheme to overturn the 2020 pres presidential election because he claims it entailed official conduct. Not so. Although the defendant was the incumbent president during the, con during the charged conspiracies, his scheme was fundamentally a private one. Working with a team of private co-conspirators, the defendant acted as a candidate when he s pursued multiple criminal means to disrupt through fraud and deceit the government function by which votes are collected and counted, a function in which the defendant as president had no official role. Uh, the Supreme Court held that presidents are immune from prosecution for certain official conduct, including defendants' use of the Justice Department in furtherance of his scheme, as was alleged in the original indictment, and reminded to this, reminded to this court to determine whether the remaining allegations against the defendant are immunized. The answer to that question is no. This motion provides a comprehensive account of the defendant's private criminal conduct, sets forth the legal framework created by Trump for resolving immunity claims, applies the, that framework to establish that none of the defendant's charged conduct is immunized because it was either unofficial or any presumptive immunity is rebutted, and requests the relief the government seeks, which is at bottom this, that the court determine that the defendant must stand trial for his private crimes, as would any other citizen isn't that beautifully written easy to understand easy to follow very clear and powerful um, good luck let's hope america takes notice um, unfortunately they're likely not to uh, we know the situation the current situation in the u.s is ridiculous uh, we live in a post-truth world but anyway let's see how we play sudoku shall we this is the la times uh, expert level puzzle. I'm looking at the grid now and um, not seeing a great deal. And when I say I'm not seeing a great deal, people will know that's code for me saying I see nothing. But now I do. I've got threes blocking up there. I like the digit three. We can get another one. Hello, hello, 587 down here. Uh, 587 blocking these two squares. That means 5, 8, and 7 must be in those squares. So we know the 7s are down there. The 5 and the 8s, though, could go anywhere. But anyway, that will help us out because we're now we can see the 1 blocking across here. So we know that's a 1. 
this is 587 that leaves just a nine to go there nine blocks up there and up there and a nine across there and we'll continue with the nine nine across here and here to get ourselves a nine there Aha, 9 down here and across here puts 9 into one of these two squares, blocking across. And a 9 down to the bottom there says you're a 9. 9 up here, 9 down here, 9 across there. That must be 9. Four six. we're looking for there. Actually, four blocks are up here, so we've got four in these two squares blocking across there. So four's got to be in one of those two squares blocking back this way and blocking up here. And there's a four. Two blocks this square, so in that row there's a two. We finish with a one for that row. Four up here, four down there. Five blocking down here and five across here, so five in one of these two squares blocking down. It gives me five in that square. Uh, five and seven block this square here, right? Five here, seven there. These can't be, that must be five, seven in those two squares there. This must be an eight. Eight blocks up here, eight blocks down there. There's an eight. Eight across here and across here, there's an eight. Seven and eight block this square here. So let's do it like this. Seven blocks here, seven blocks here, seven is there. Eight blocks here, eight's in that square. Missing number down here is a six. Six also blocks up here. That puts six into that square. Missing numbers here are one and five. We've got five blocking across. There's our five, there's our one. Uh, this is one, two, four, one, two, four in different rows, <coughs> in different rows. What are we looking for up here? Two and six. Okay, seven blocks this square, seven blocks this square. So here's a seven for this row. And the missing number here is five, I think. Five across here and here means that's a five. And the last number to place here is an eight.
do not have any completed digits just yet. Oh, hang on a second. What's to go up here? This is one and one and what? One and six, is it? I think it is. That's one and six. So this is four and five. Oh, hang on a second. So six blocks these two squares here. Oh yeah, yeah. Look, I see it now. Six blocking up here. Six blocking up here. There's a six. So that's going to be a one. <coughs> one across here and one up there gives us one in that square. We know this is four and five. This then will be something else. Uh, two, 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 two is it? Two, I think it is. So we're looking for four, five, eight up here, four, five, eight in different columns. Okay, still don't have any completed digits. Four is one of our missing numbers here, right? That can't be four, can it? That's got to be four. Oh, I've just realized there was only one number missing. <laughs> You've been screaming at me, haven't you? And I just didn't see it. Excuse me. Oh, we could investigate the possibility of a, a, a unique rectangle here, couldn't we? We've got two six here, and we've got two six in this square. So it means that this square here can't be two or six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could be seven, eight, nine. It's a seven. Okay. Uh, does that help, though? are there this block is giving me a headache uh, what do we know twos what do we know about the twos twos anywhere there what do we know about threes there what do we know about that's three and seven there right what do you know about four five six there and there Seven's there. Three and seven in that row. Eight in this row. Nine in the same row there. So we've got three and seven, eight and nine. There, I don't think there are any singles there though. Six, nine. 
Well, if the answer is not in this block here, then it's got to be in this block here, hasn't it? What? Let me have a look at this again. This was what? One, four, one, two, four, is it? Okay, so then what do we know about this block here? Or ones are there. Twos can go there. Threes are here. Four. Hmm. Fours are like that. Fives are here. Is that a pair of seven and nine? Seven and nine block across here, seven and nine block across here, seven and nine block down there. We found ourselves a pair of seven and nine. Now that has got to do something, surely. That's seven and nine. So at the ends here we have one and four. That's not going to help. This is seven and nine. Come on, come on. Ones. Two, no change. Three, no change. Four. So, okay, so four blocks across here and up here. So four, it has to be in one of those two squares, blocking up here and four blocking up there. So we could say that's a four. And then we've got our five blocking up there to give us five there. And the last digit here is an eight. Eight blocks down here, eight blocks down here, eight across there, there's an eight. Uh, nine blocks across here and nine blocks down there, there's a nine. Nine blocks up here, down here, and across, and across here. And eight and nine are now finished. Uh, now I had, what did I have here? I've forgotten. Was it seven and nine? It was, wasn't it? Sevens, yeah. So that's a seven then. And now we have sevens down here and here. Let's put seven in that square. And what's left? Five blocks this square. We need a five in this column. It goes there. Last digit for this column is a six. Six blocks across here. Here's our six. Six blocks up there. There's our six. This will be a two. Two needed here. Two across there. There's our two. The last number here is three. Three blocks this square. We need a, we've got threes blocking across like this. So there's our three, final digit three. One more number to go here. That is uh, two, I think. And two blocks across here and here. So that gives us two there. The end over here is eight. No, it's not. Almost made a boo boo. Four, isn't it? And we've got four blocking there. There's a four. This will have to be a one. One blocks across here. Here's the one last number to get here. Six. Okay, so the games haven't been quite so tough for a Thursday when I've got some free time and some energy. Uh, games are pretty tough when I'm tired. <laughs> okay, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.